Hi, it's Mike, and I want to talk to you now about gridding off a subject photo to fit a certain canvas size. In this case, I have a 4 by 6 photograph that I want to put onto an 11 by 14 canvas. So, how do I do that and proportionally grid off the photo so it can transfer accurately onto my canvas? Um, I've got here is a proportional wheel. Had this for a long time. I used it back in my key line paste up days. Key line and paste up has long gone the way of digital printing. Uh, but what this allows me to do is size an original to what the reproduction size would be. So in this case, my original is 4 by 6. My reproduction size is 11 by 14. So what you do is you have this scale. It says size of original. The outer scale is the size of the reproduction. So I go on to my size original and pick four inches. Let's see if we got her here. Hope we can see that. Four inches. And I turn it until it lines up with the 11 inches on the outside scale. So my 4 inch original will scale up to 11 inches. Again, my 4 inch picture I'm converting to an 11 by 14 canvas. So once I put the 4 inches on the 11, I then go over and say, okay, what is the 14 inch measurement of my canvas equate to on my original? In this case, it's five, just a sliver over five. In fact, I'm off here a little bit. About five and an eighth. Well, guess what? My original is six. So I have to go out here and go, hey, I would have to cut off uh, about seven eighths of an inch to make this proportionally fit correctly once I grid this down and convert it, transfer it over to the canvas. So I have some options. Um, my client wants me to keep these, it's a commission piece, keep these two boats in the picture frame. I can't chop off that much of these. Now I, I could move it over a little bit and take up some of the space here, but uh, I kind of like the the reflection in the water it's going to add a lot to the painting and I don't want to, to drop that out so what I can do is say well let's pretend um, I'm going to I can add some some content in there um, I don't want to chop off my 14 so when I put my wheel the six inch original size match that up with the 14. Now my four inch dimension says I need to go nine and a half on my reproduction. Well, wait a minute, it's 11. So I'd have to go to four and three quarters. To get it to go to 11, I would add three quarters of an inch to this dimension. Three quarters of an inch. Now I've got a piece four and three quarters. I just, whatever, I can put some more water in here. I can add a little bit more dock or sky out here. That four and three quarters then would map out correctly to my larger 14 inch dimension. So, hope that makes some sense, but this is a proportion wheel, proportion scale. Um, old time stuff. But that's one way to set up the transfer from your original to a canvas. And now I will 
divide this into uh, three spaces and three equal spaces. And I'll do the same here, divvy that up with my new four and three quarter dimension. And then I can transfer that onto the canvas. So that will be the next step. Okay, so now what I did was extend my four inch dimension to four and three quarters, keep my six inch dimension as is, so my four by six photo, and I divided that into a grid, uh, nine equally spaced boxes, and I also did the same on my canvas. I toned it just a tad with a little terra rosa a splash of some cadmium yellow pale just to break up that white space then I took charcoal and equally divided the width by the height to give me a grid that is proportionally uh, correct as it relates to my photo now, what I'm going to do with this particular piece is draw it upside down. Ah, what is it? What is it but a bunch of shapes? So for this particular piece, I really want to focus on just seeing different shapes and try to pick up uh, the reflections in the water and the areas of the boat that... Uh, I don't know what they are, just a bunch of shapes. And I will transfer it onto the canvas upside down. Helps me with the layout, helps me get it going. This is a pretty simple piece, uh, but a grid can help you um, decipher what you're trying to do with a, a photo that you might have and how I transfer that accurately onto a certain size canvas. So that's where I'm at, and uh, let me draw this up, and I'll be back with you. All right, we've got, uh, remember we started with it upside down, looking for basic shapes, and transferring it based on the grid that we laid out. So I now have it drawn upside down to match the grid. It's just basic shape recognition, basic shape placement. Um, it helps me stay focused on shapes instead of getting into minutia and the details. So I'm at a point now where we can start uh, prepping the paint and getting ready to go. Uh, my time limit on this is going to be about two and a half hours. So I want to wham bam uh, met this woman at a plein air event, and uh, she wants it for her husband next Tuesday. <laughs> so I gotta go, and because uh, it's Thursday, and uh, that'll help me keep it real light and loose and kind of plein airish. Uh, can never capture the moment when we were there, but it should be fun. Talk to you in a bit.